correct, correct people. How on a day? Welcome back to Tessie's TV. We don't carry another better approval con given about waiting the sub for palace. As the story where the riches right now from inside the palace of Oni is that KBAC Oba Adeye has gone spiritual over the case of Queen Naomi. Yes, because we thought that by now this case is going to be resolved that KBAC and Queen Naomi will get back together before the Ologio Festival, which is coming two days from today, yeah, 26th of uh, September to 30th, as we heard. KBAC's expectation was that he is going to, you know, make amends, for that he is going to settle with Momite Denekahu before the day, so that he will be fully happy for this uh, Ologio Festival, because we heard that KBSC wants to do it in a very special way. He has three sons. As of last year, it was only Prince Tedenekau. Last two years, it was only Prince Tedenekau. And this year, they are now three sons. So KBSC, as we heard, wanted to celebrate in a very special way. He wanted to, you know, outpour his heart, the joy in his heart to the gods to Praise the gods very well for blessing him. Yes, for remembering him this year because this year is a special way for a special year for KBAC. Uh, KBAC have about three sons now, Prince Tedenika or Prince Adesina and Prince Ademakewa. So KBAC was already preparing in a way that he would celebrate it with Queen Naomi. He tried bringing Queen Naomi back to the royal manor. He tried to make things work. But at a point, at the last minute, if I may say, everything went bad. Yes, everything went from good to worse. Right now, KBAC is not getting himself, even though he is in seclusion. Yeah, seclusion, for those that didn't know, is a time of prayer for his family, for his community, for his kingdom, for Nigerians as, at large. But even that KBAC is in this uh, seclusion, people that are close to him said that KBAC doesn't have peace of mind. KBAC is not at peace with himself because of Queen Naomi. Uh, yes, because of Mommy Tedenekao leaving. And not only that Mommy Tedenekao left, KBAC is having serious issues with her. Yes, so KBAC is not happy at all at all as we heard that uh, is going spiritual this time around in prayers not only in circulation he is going seriously spiritual yeah we heard that kabi is, is ready to appease the gods he's ready to do whatever he would do to beg the gods to make it easy for him to bring queen naomi back because everything started getting worse and worse when uh, queen naomi's uncle returned from australia it was even shocking to us that Queen Naomi uncle from Neowe came back straight down to Nigeria before the Ologio Festival. Because if not, KBSC would have begged Queen Naomi and begged and begged and begged and Queen Naomi would have a change of mind. This is not the first time KBSC is having issue with Queen Naomi. This is not the second time. This is not the third time that he, only of Ife, only Risha, Oba Adeye is having issue with his wife. They have been having issues, but later you hear that both of them have settled, that things are going well, that they are happy together. But this one is taking long. Mommy Tadeneka will decided, you know, to end it all with KBAC. And we heard that KBAC has been making efforts with Parapo, with Oba Elegushi and plenty of people to beg with Naomi to return. And KBAC was already, you know, getting to that. Parapo already asked Queen Naomi to go and withdraw the case of uh, their divorce out of court, and Queen Naomi did, as Parapo told uh, her. So everybody was like, ah, thank God, say, Mommy Tedenekawo is coming down. Thank God this matter is coming to an end before Queen Naomi's uncle now entered Nigeria. That was so when there was, uh, you know, a big catastrophe. Yes, it'd be like say they can't add more fire to the problem. Because we heard that immediately uh, when Naomi's uncle entered Nigeria, Gongom, hi, my correct people, though. Small, not be small, Wahala. Big problem. KBAC, 
was sent out of Queen Naomi's apartment, Kabiesi was given better basketballs by Queen Naomi's uncle, if I may say. Yes? We heard that immediately Queen Naomi's uncle entered into accept Queen Naomi is not going anywhere again. And they thought that it is the loving matter. Into accept Queen Naomi, they follow me, go back to Australia. I want to change her life. She is so young to be in the midst of her sixth wife. She is so young to be fighting this kind of battle. She is so young to be seeing what she's seeing in the palace. That KBS issue focus on his wife and forget about Queen Naomi. That's Queen Naomi is going to uh, go off, but she has studies in the Australia. She's going to acquire more knowledge. She's a woman of virtue. She needs to, you know, evolve. And that was when the problem starts. Immediately, Kabiese heard it. Kabiese was shocked. How can Queen Naomi leave me here and go to Australia with my son? What if anything happens to them? What if Queen Naomi reaches there and change her mind and gets married to a white American, uh, Australian man and all that? What am I going to do? KBS was heartbroken. KBS was devastated. KBS was shattered, if I may say. KBS, as we heard, couldn't sleep. He was walking up and down. He was calculating his move. The next day, we heard that KBS, yeah, that was yesterday. He left it was an emergency, emergency visitor to Akira to go and see Queen Naomi's uh, uncle for settlement. And we heard that the man did not agree for any type of settlement. In talks, uh, Queen Naomi will not return back to the palace. My correct people make a, a great one at first before we carry this approach. They go morning, afternoon, evening to you all according to your time. And the time will not take the say this video. Yeah, welcome back to Tessie TV. And we are still on the gist about waiting the stop for Palace. So, my wonderful people, not be small matter as we they hear. So, now the uncle did not agree upon all KBS is pleading, upon all KBS is begging. The man said, Laila, yo, when Naomi, she has seen a lot, she has endured a lot. I want to change her life. She's following me straight down to Australia. And they couldn't finalize on anything. Kabiesi was angry. He left. The next thing we heard is that Kabiesi has gone spiritual with this case. Hey, my correct people. Mm. Kabiesi, this time around, you don't see Shege Bansa in Queen Naomi hand. Because he did not expect, like I tell him, I said, Kabiesi did not expect that this matter will linger to this extent. So now KBSC has seen that this is not a case of uh, going and uh, begging and begging and begging, that this is a case of going spiritual, begging the gods to intervene. Because if not the intervention of the gods, my correct people, KBSC might not have Queen Naomi again. Yes, it'd be like saying, Uncle, don't make up in my same moment, I didn't come will not enter palace. And he insists, say, whether Queen Naomi like him or not, that moment, I didn't come is going to Australia with uh, him. My correct people, I beg, make you try to come out for this matter. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, stay tuned, stay connected for more updates. And for my returning subscribers, I did see you in a comment, I did see you in a suggestions and opinions. I appreciate all of you where they always stick to Tessie's TV. Thank you guys for always coming by to my channel. I love